Today I'm making a sweet potato pie for my Thanksgiving dinner. Everybody got their own way of making sweet potato pies, but my way is I peel them, I dice them, and I boil them. A lot, but, but this is my way. I take my sweet potatoes, I cut them all up, peel them, I'm going to dice them. Once I get them all diced, I'm going to put them in water and I'm going to let them boil until they're fork tender. Just like you're boiling your potatoes for a potato salad or mashed potatoes. And I started out with five to six medium sized sweet potatoes and that should give me two nice pies. We're waiting on our potatoes to boil. We got them boiling here. And once they are fork tender, see? Look at that. They're almost there. See that? See that? Just want them fork tender enough for that blender to get through. I'm going to mix the ingredients and then I'm going to use my blender to mix everything in. And so we want this really to be fork tender. And I'm back showing you how to complete these sweet potato pies. Remember, we peeled them, we diced them, we boiled them, and now we're waiting. We're waiting for the pork tender. And I think the time has come. There it is. That's really good right there. And we're going to strain these. We're going to get all the water out. Remember, we want all the water off because sweet potato pies, sweet potatoes, they hold water. Okay, so you want them to be really dry. But you know what? I got these pots here with high handles. So let me uh, get my drying towels. Should have had these ready. Sorry, you guys. Okay. But I don't want to get burned. And we take it over here. And you know what? Stand back because you'll get this really nice sauna and it's a really nice facial <laughs> you know I think it's the only time I really get a facial that's when I'm straining hot stuff okay now that we got those strained we're in the kitchen sink you know so you're gonna let them sit for a while and I let them sit <clears throat> until I'm sure they're all dry and once we get back, I'm going to show you how to finish this off. We're going to add our ingredients, and we're going to pull out the blender, and we're going to finish it off. But before we do that, I'm going to show you a neat little trick with store-bought pie crust. I know I showed you how to peel them, how to boil them, how to strain them. And now we're going to mix all of our ingredients. We're going to blend this pie. We're going to get the filling over in the pie crust. We're going to get it in the oven and we're going to get these pies cooking. But one thing I didn't show you guys, <clears throat> this is what I like to do after the store bought pies I showed you. I like a crisp crust pie. I like my pie crust to be really crispy and there's a little trick to that. What I do is I line the pie crust with aluminum foil and take some dry beans put them in here place it in the oven on 425 for 15 minutes and once it comes out the oven you'll get this and it's already crisped up okay. now we're gonna get this mixing okay I got three eggs room temperature so we're gonna crack these eggs and what I do is I uh, I beat the eggs first <clears throat> So we're going to beat these eggs, three eggs, room temperatures, and don't forget we're going to get two pies out of this. I use two pie crust. I use five to six medium sweet potatoes. We're going to blend this. And I like to blend my eggs until they get real fluffy. I start on low speed and I pick it up a lot. All fluffed up. A couple of minutes. I pour up my bowl. I want to get that fluffy. The part, the trick to beating the eggs like this, it makes your pie really fluffy. So you want this to happen. So you won't have that flat pie. I like my. This will make it rise a little better. Once I strained my potatoes, 
I put in here a stick of butter. I put the butter in here while it was hot. That way, as you can see, the butter has melted. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the egg mixture in here. You need two cups of sugar. Stop. I don't really use the whole two cups. I stop like uh, a little ways before. Only because I want to, you can always add sugar, but it's harder to take the sugar out. So I like to, do, to put almost maybe a cup and a little over half with the sugar. We're going to start it out with that. And then we kind of like <clears throat> mix this in here. And as you can see, that sugar is going to start to melt. flavoring. So you're going to add your tea, ooh, teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. <clears throat> now, this is the hard part. Not for me, but maybe for you. <laughs> because I can't tell you how much nutmeg or cinnamon you're going to add to this. But I like to use cinnamon too. A lot of people might not put cinnamon over in their sweet potato pies, but I do, but only because you know what? It kicks it up a notch. So what I do is I cover the top <clears throat> with the cinnamon. I you know just cover it like that. And then I take my nutmeg and I cover it too. Now you of course you want to use more nutmeg than cinnamon. So I'm you see, I'm putting a lot more nutmeg than I did cinnamon. Okay, and we gotta start smash this. I want to just get it in there before I pick that blender up. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon all-purpose flour to this mix. Now the flour is what's gonna hold it together. So this is kind of important. You got to have that flour in there because you're going to need that. That's going to bind it. So you really want that. Now we're going to take our blender. Always start on low speed. And just adding all those ingredients. The sugar, the nutmeg, the vanilla extract, your eggs, the flour, and your cinnamon. Now, what you do is you taste it, and if it's to your taste, you know, the sweetness, you know how much nutmeg you want in your pies, and it's all to taste. You finish blending it, you'll get this texture here that I have. Okay, then we're gonna pour it, now we're gonna pour it into our pie shells. pouring it. Remember my pie shell, I kind of like pre-baked them so they can get real crispy. I like that crispy crunch. Okay, we're going to fill them. Look at that. See that consistency? This is what you're looking for. This type of consistency. Sweet potatoes will give you two perfect pies. Enough to make the filling fill all the way up to the edge of the pie shell. Spread it around. I shake it. <laughs> I shake it that way I know it, it levels out. Let's just give it a little shake shake. Shake shake shake. It's in the oven now. Turn that oven back down. I had my oven turned up to bake the crust to crisp it up. I had it cranked up to 425 and so we remember to always turn it back down. We're gonna bake these at 350. We're gonna bake them for approximately 45 minutes. Okay, in the middle of the rack, you're gonna center them. 
bake them off for 45 minutes. They should come out golden brown. Okay, y'all. It's been 45 minutes. And it's time to eat. I'm always my best taste tester. You know, I don't let anyone taste any of my food until I taste it. Look at that crust. Oh, it's crunchy. I know it's crunchy. Mm. It's crunchy. Mmm. Wow. It's so good. Mmm. 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 It makes my asshole want to suck buttermilk. Mmm. Don't forget, tune into my blog. I like milk. But use my own words. But I can't use nobody else's words like damn. Well, makes my asshole wanna suck buttermilk. <laughs>